Hello and welcome to the show as we join you today from the downtown boxing gym on Detroit's east side. January is National Mentoring Month and today we're discussing the importance of mentors, especially when it comes to our youth, whether it's talking to a young person and letting them know that you care or just simply spending time with them to let them know you're there. The benefits of mentorship are endless. The work done here at the downtown boxing gym is helping kids navigate the challenges they, fa they face in Detroit's toughest neighborhoods with a safe and productive place to go after school and during the summer. The CEO, Kali Sweeney, founded the downtown boxing gym youth program in 2007 to help students learn how to study through tutoring, teaching them discipline through boxing, and instilling pride in their community through voluntary service. The program currently serves 125 students between the ages of 7 and 18 but this program is more than just boxing. Before the kids put on the gloves, they have to hit the books. We're joined by the founder and CEO of the downtown boxing gym, Kali Sweeney, his students, Jordan Beverly, Melanie Rayford, uh, Malik Abdullah, and Raynard Robinson. Welcome to American Black Journal, all of you. It's good to be here. Yeah, absolutely. So, Kali, talk to me about this idea here. Uh, it's called the Downtown Boxing Gym, Correct. but it's not really about boxing. It's more about the books. Yeah. Um, as you know, uh, books are always first and foremost in anybody's life because the, the athleticism part of it is, is not guaranteed to anybody. You know, right. The vast majority of people never become a professional fighter or, or professional athlete of any sort, for that matter. And uh, with, with the education, you can know the, the sky's the limit. You can become a doctor, a lawyer, engineer. So education is always first. It's yeah. plan A, never plan B. Yeah. Uh, talk about how you came up with this idea. What was your uh, childhood like? What were the mentors uh, uh, that, that set you on the right path? Well, well I'm, uh, to be totally honest, I didn't have any mentors. No, I know. I, I didn't have any mentors. You know, I was, on, I, was, I was falling free. I was on a free fall for a long time. Yeah. You know, from, from a very early age, I, school, I had a problem with school. You know what I mean? I had... I just acted out whenever I could. I had nobody to, to reach out to, to talk to on a consistent basis. So what happened was I just spent out of control and the streets grabbed me up and I became a part of that street life and it just became a part of who I was and I, I fed into it, I believed in it. And I didn't have any help. I had no safe place to go to, nobody to talk to. And I just fed into it and it just, yeah. it, it, it lasted a long time until I broke out of yeah. it. And the whole point here is to, to avoid offer a different path oh, yeah, for, yeah, for the kids here. Definitely, we definitely want to, uh, to uh, had somebody stepped in early on in my life, I probably would have chose a different path early on. But since, so, so for me right now, it's to, to grab these kids while they're young, put positive stuff in their mind instead of put a lot of negative stuff in their mind. Back then, people used to say you'd be dead before you're 21, or you know, you'd be dead or in jail before you're 21. I want to tell them that you don't have to be dead or in jail before you're 21. If you're struggling in school, you just reach out to somebody. There's a lot of great organizations around Detroit, not just this one, it's a whole bunch of them that you can go to. So, yeah, we'll yeah. put that in their mind. All right. Uh, Jordan, tell me about the Detroit Boxing Gym. Downtown uh, what boxing do you, the downtown boxing gym, what do you enjoy about it? The most thing I enjoy about here, the downtown boxing gym, is I could come here, get my work done, and then I could head to training. But before I could do that, I have to practice my math. Yeah, <laughs> practice yeah. your math. Is that, is that the subject that gives you the most trouble? Yes, sir. Yeah. What about the adults here? What about the relationship between you and those adults? Uh, what difference does that make for you? The relationship between the adults here is they all treat you like family. You know, you don't never, you can come here and never feel unwanted, you know? Yeah. Everybody treats you as one of them. Yeah, yeah. Melanie, uh, what do you like most about the, the boxing gym here? Um, I like the people here. It does feel like a family. Um, I love coming here every day. I come here every day. I like the training and the tutors. They're really nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, some people might be surprised to find a girl at a boxing gym. Uh, do you enjoy the boxing part of it, too? Yes, I do enjoy the boxing <laughs> part of it. I've been training every day lately, and because of this program, I have lost 15 pounds so far. Um, Kali told me you want to see me, on, see me on this track every day, <laughs> every day. <laughs> so I've been doing just that and sticking out through the workouts. Yeah. Excellent. Malik, what about you? Um, what I enjoy about the downtown boxing is that we come right after school. We um, get transportation by the van, and then we come, we do our homework, and then once we're done with our homework, we train, and then... And then we go home. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. Then it's time to go home. Uh, what about you, Renard? Well, when I usually come in, I get straight to my homework. 
and then I have friends here now. Like, it's a new experience. I can come out here, work out, hit the bag, yeah. have the grown-ups helping us out, not putting us down. It's a nice experience. Yeah. And then, like, I get my grades are better now in school, that I have more help. Yeah. What about your neighborhoods? Uh, what are your neighborhoods like, and are there other places like the boxing gym available to you? Um, my neighborhood is not a good place, really, but I stay in the house, wait till the van come picks me up, and head to the gym where I know I'm safe at. Yeah. So this is a place of solace, then, of, of escape, really, from, from yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah. Yes, sir. What about you, Melanie? Um, my neighborhood, it isn't too bad, but um, I do stay in the house a lot, and then, you know, I come here every day. This is, like, where I really go every day outside of the house. I really don't go anywhere but here. Wow. Wow. Uh, what about you, Mal? What is the question again? The, your neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> what's your neighborhood like compared to the boxing gym? It, um, it's nothing bad about my neighborhood is just that it's more fun here yeah. instead of in my neighborhood. <laughs> I think I would agree with you on that. What about you, Renard? My neighborhood, it's like a lot of trash near the sewers and stuff. You see cops running up and down the street, fire trucks and stuff. But when I come to the gym, it's more like a calm area, clean, decent place to stay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you have uh, a lot of kids here now. You have a wait list, though, that far eclipses the number of kids who, who yeah. can actually come we here. Have, we have a wait list close to, we're just moving on to close to getting to, to 800 now. Uh -huh. we're, all, we're well over 750 kids on the wait list. Wow. The list is st steady growing. Yeah, uh, and what do you need to get more of those kids in here? Do you need a bigger facility or? No, we don't need a bigger facility. We need, uh, we need more uh, financial help and support to, to get in more tutors and more teachers, you know, because like I said, you know, you can always find a coach somewhere, but we really need teachers to sit down with these kids to make sure they don't slip through the cracks. We don't want to uh, water the program down where kids are just slipping through the cracks and they, you get the same scenario that, that happened when I was a kid where guys were getting passed along from grade to grade. Yeah. You're in the 12th grade and you still can't read or write. Yeah. So we want to we find that out early on, so we need a lot of uh, tutors and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you also uh, focus not just on the kids who are here, but you try to reach out to the families uh, that yes, they come from as well. Definitely. We try to, we try to make this a family-friendly environment. So like we have a lot of our parents who are now uh, staff members. You know, we have parents who are drivers who are uh, parent group booster uh, presidents and stuff like that and uh, you know they cook in the kitchen and stuff like that so we just want to bring the whole family and we have fathers who are actually every day not only uh, training their sons they're training 12 13 guys at a time other uh -huh. people's sons uh -huh. so yeah it's a good place. Uh, uh, is this something that could be uh, I mean you have kids from all over the city uh, okay. coming here is this something that could be replicated around the city would you like to see more uh, institutions like this in Detroit? I definitely would like to see more, but you know, uh, with a wait list of 800 kids, there's yeah. no wait list in life. Life doesn't wait on you, you know what I mean? The city morgue doesn't have a wait list. The, the county jails don't have a wait list. They fill those places up 24 hours a day. Yeah. So we need to get these guys in a safe place. And it don't just have to be here. It can be any of these fine organizations that we have around the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jordan, uh, if you didn't have the boxing gym, what would your life be like? Um, if I didn't find the boxing gym, mm -hmm. I think I'll be either in, in jail or dead. You think so? Really? You think it's that, it's that critical? Yes, uh, sir. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Melanie? Um, if I didn't have the boxing gym, I think I'll just still be at home doing nothing, sitting on the couch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, my, not, not exercising, indoor, right? yeah. <laughs> well, what about you, Mally? I want to have been straight up bored. Yeah. Playing video games. <laughs> bored. Play video <laughs> games, right. <laughs> what about right now? Well, if I didn't have the downtown Boston gym, I probably wouldn't have the grades I have or the experiences or I'll probably be following my brother in his footsteps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th th it's got to warm your heart to hear, I mean, this, this, uh, this panel here, uh, the things these kids are saying they're getting from here, that, that really matters. Yeah, it does. It really does. You know, uh, we have kids who come back who graduated from some, some, from some prestigious universities who go into some prestigious universities across the country right now. And I want to continue down that path. I want to see a lot more kids get a exposure in um, enrichment programs like what we've been doing, uh, stand-up pedal boarding, computer coding, all different things like that. Yeah. So they get a lot of uh, math help and a lot of reading help here. Yeah. So 
I like to see that continue. Yeah. All right. So we'll see if we can get you some more volunteers and uh, yeah, some volunteers. more support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right.